everybody, Mr. Morrow here. I was on a walk with my dog this past weekend, and he was a little ahead of me, and he was starting to chew on something, and I didn't know what he was chewing on. Which, as I came closer, I discovered that he found a piece of kelp. But it wasn't just any kelp, it was attached to a rock still, which I thought was really interesting. And we've never talked about what this part is called. It's actually called a holdfast, which is a strange name, but it keeps the kelp from floating away. So basically, if you could imagine on the ocean floor, rocks just like this, and the kelp going all the way up and floating on the top. We've talked about bull kelp. The top of one of those looks like this has that ball on top and it keeps it afloat. It actually has gas in here and that's what allows it to float on top of the ocean floor. This part goes all the way down to the ocean floor and attaches and gets held in place by that hold fast. So I thought that was really interesting and I found a lot more than just that one. This one actually started to come off a little bit This one here has one, two, three, four, four separate pieces attached to a couple different rocks. This guy's got two. I also found this. These little balls here are filled with that air that allows it to float. The last thing I wanted to show you was the dried kelp. So this stuff, when it washes ashore, starts to sit out in the sun, like this one, and gets dried out. And it provides a lot of food for different types of animals as it starts to decay. Now if you could imagine, when you're underwater, that kelp forest provides a lot of protection. We talked about this in class. A lot of animals rely on these kelp forests because it's their home. It's where they get their food, it's where they stay safe. This is the ribbon that flows closer to the top and near uh, the middle portion of the, of the bull kelp. Kind of like it's flowing in the wind here. I don't know if it'll pick up. It flows in the water. And again, it provides a little protection from predators seeking those prey. So as the bull kelp dies and washes up on shore, and when it starts to dry like this, it serves um, food and shelter for many different types of animals. So uh, sand crabs and beach fleas are two different types that rely on dried uh, kelp like this for both food and shelter, which is really cool and interesting. Um, I'm sure you've seen at the Sioux Harbor House on the Whiff and Spit, a lot of people in the fall, uh, late fall time, coming and harvesting kelp for their gardens because it's an excellent fertilizer. So we've just talked about food, shelter, nourishment and energy for all different types of animals including us so kelp is really important and it kind of all goes back to uh, when we have way too much of one thing that can impact other things so when we had way too many sea urchins what's the impact on the kelp right the sea urchin the sea urchins eat the kelp but almost to an excess um, so that sea otter that comes in and helps regulate the population helps everyone, really. So the last thing that I want to talk about with bull kelp today is how, first of all, how fast they grow, and secondly, how big they can actually grow. So believe it or not, bull kelp grows about two feet 
per day. So from spring until fall, that's when they're growing. And like we just talked about, when they die in the winter time, they wash up in shore, right? They can grow to, a, to 80 feet in length. That's just the bulk out. So that's just from the hold fast all the way to the top, right? But we also talked about a little bit about the blades there. Those are the things that kind of float in the water. They can grow up to a length of 10 feet. So I'm gonna actually show you on the beach how far a distance from one place to another 80 feet is and it would make you visualize how big these things actually get. So stay tuned. Nice. From the top of the ball to all the way to the bottom where the hold fast is on the rock, that would be 80 feet. That's how long they can grow. So my shoe size is about 12 inches, which is about one foot. Funny how my foot is about one foot. Let's take a look from this point here. I'm gonna start counting all the way this way to 80 feet. And then I'm gonna give you a wave and that can get, give you a visualization of actually how big they can get. That was 80 feet.